Welcome back to part three of... Oh. I'm not playing. <laughs> Who's the highest? <laughs> Your falsetto, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's a stop the cup, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Great stuff. So, venues. We're going to talk about venues. Um, what's your favourite venue? If it's a... If it's a if it's a nice day, it's got to be Grand Central on the naughty step, we like oh, to call it. Oh, yes. Um, just, I like playing outside. It's like being at a, a festival, a little mini festival. Okay, the seen. Grand Central Hall, is that it, yeah? Yeah. Yes, down there in the gardens of Mount Pleasant. But you, yeah, it's a great venue, isn't it? You've had a few. Oh, yeah. I, we, during lockdown, kind of like just before that, when Boris allowed everyone to kind of sing outside, if you like, or you can be with company, but you need to be two metres apart and open spaces because obviously we, we spit lots of COVID out, don't we? Oh, right. Boris. So we're on what we call a naughty step and like a couple of weeks on the run. He's next to me, we're doing this routine, you know, singing. He goes, it's raining. I'm going, it's going to be rain. And he's got a big seagull shit on his hat. <laughs> no, a seagull will come in and just like the Dan Busters. It's not lucky to get like it wasn't, wasn't lucky. lucky then. It nearly went in me gob and everything. Oh! <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but it happened again. It happened again. In the end, Morley put a little like a little awning. Awning. An awning. So an awning to protect us from shit. We we used to say it was the sun, but it wasn't from the seagulls. <laughs> Whew, so it was a seagull, like a seagull. It was one seagull. Steve. It was Stephen Seagull. He called it. Yeah. It was his domain. And he, because they say food there, he was kind of just, but he thought, oh, I don't like the noise they're making. We like to shake on it. <laughs> <laughs> Steven Seagal. Seagal, yeah. Seagal. Yeah. yeah, so we got shit on a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, they, call them, they do call them the shy talks, the nasty shy talks. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, let's move it on because we've done all venues. It always yeah. goes back to toilet talk, yeah. But yeah. well, you know, so you're talking about the Grand Central, big massive garden. How, how many can that can hold? Is it? Oh, I'm not entirely sure. It's a bit social distance. Social distance. It's a do, difficult one, isn't it? Tables are six. They did it last summer. And they'll do so it probably the same it? again. Yeah. 100, 100 people. 100, over 100. Great sat, great sat. Might be more, because yeah. it's yeah. a bigger marquee this year. Yeah, I think it's one singular marquee that's going right across yeah. the gardens. Heat is in there and anything else. All the, there. All the and it's all the floor. Yeah, the, the grass. The 12th of April. Yeah. Yeah. That's the big... Fingers crossed. Fingers, Fingers crossed. That's our first gig back. What time you're on then? It's um, Mick the Cat's on before us. Yeah, yeah, Mick's on. Lindsay Germain will be there. The compare. The hostess with the most Hostess. Yeah. And yeah. Marvellous Mick the Cat and then us. Brilliant. I think we're on about six. Six o'clock. Yeah. I think Mick's on around three. three. Two. Two or three. It's be as normal Mad Monday, won't it? Yeah. yeah. Beer the Liffey. The Liffey Monday, they call it. Yeah. But it's in the Central Oil Garden. So it's all, it's all illegal because it's outside. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, great. So, so going back, so when the three of us are all joined up now on the hip, practicing wise, choreographs, what happens there? Where, where do you get time to do that? Zoom at the moment. Zoom at yeah. the minute, but um, usually I'm told, like, figure something out for that middle eight, and I'll do it. And then when we get together, Jay's figured something out also that he would like to prepare. <laughs> now, we come to a general agreement, don't we? <laughs> so it's yeah. all well we hear, say for instance, like it's each song, like say for instance, the snake, uh, that's the, that Northern Soul classic yeah. that you do. Yeah. Yeah. Who sang that again? Al Wilson. Al Wilson. Al Wilson. Yeah, we do a lot of Northern Soul now, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, it, it's one of those, like the snake. It, it, it's a lot of it's off the cuff, because we ever see Joe when she moves on that towards yeah. towards the end bit. That's not choreographed. It's not rehearsed. He just does it. And there's lots of stuff, a lot of routines that these two guys do. I only see if say I'm, I'm taking the lead vocal, yeah. And it's funny, it's funny when you watch a playback or someone's got it on video. You go, I didn't even know you did that because you're not turning that way. I'm looking that way at the audience, yeah. and these two have worked something out, and I don't see it until weeks later. So it's it's, it's a bit of fun, that a bit of telepathy. You can show me. I follow Joe, she follows me, yeah. and, and wow. it sticks. Whatever it's it's it not to be too rehearsed, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 yeah, you and don't want it like totally. Uh -huh. Choreographed, you know, yeah. it, it's not contrived. It's, it's and if trying. you go wrong, it goes wrong. You know, yeah. The funny thing is, that in between as well, you're always bantering, aren't you? Yeah, because yeah. if you've got the shows, there's, like, there's always crowds of you, you know, even on a Monday. 
I mean, do you see the same faces? Or? Ah, we've, uh, I've got, we've got to say hello to a few people. But if you don't do a certain song, because we, we try and change it up yeah. a bit, but if you don't do their favourite song, they'll shout it out to you until you do it. Tommy Mack has got Tommy his favourites with um, stack stuff. He loves all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Stagger Lee, Cindy and... Tommy Mack, Cindy. 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 Phil Jeanette, Phil Jeanette, mm. yeah, Brian, Brian, Brian of course, yeah. Yeah. so we'll do their favours, favourites, but we know, like, this one's, for, Sarah always laughs, because she knows, if I trip over my words, or I forget a word, or I, you know, put another word in place in a verse, she susses me right away, and just I just see one. her shoulders yeah. going like that, and I know she's laughing, because I can see her, and then I catch her eye, and she's, oh, we are blessed though, I mean, we've got this, you make friends with the people that come to see you and they come to literally every single gig and even in my mindset I'm thinking like hey, like to Sarah and stuff you know you must be bored of this and it's it's so rewarding when they go no oh. you know it's after that uh, diva Sarah yeah 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 young girl she's well she's funny yeah, because I, I sang Sweet Caroline and Sweet Caroline and she just did, she did the words in between. That's right. Yeah, yeah she yeah. did the naughty version. Oh, yes, I'm did. feeling inclined. <laughs> to, and she shouted, to take it from behind. <laughs> <laughs> he said it. He said it up that. We went with her. I was like, yeah, Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. Great stuff. So yeah. the venues are going well. How many did you do a week? On a Be- good, before good lockdown. Week. Because them two are getting a bit old now, they only want to do about five nights a week. Like youngsters yeah. like me, I could go seven oh, nights a yeah, week, yeah. Full, full nights. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. We, were, gotta, we were, we were five, five nights a week. Look after these two now, do you? All along Great Charlotte Street, up in the Cotton Club, um, Nelly's, Nelly Fowley's, you know. This was pre- all the pre-lockdown before. Yeah. Yeah. Man, Pre-lockdown. Yeah. Great, yeah. Charlotte Street, yeah. 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 great Charlotte Street. So many great venues. Uh, there's always a lot of taxis, is that right? The taxi mm-hmm. ranks down Great Charlotte Street. Yeah, yeah. And then... You look, go back Smokies, it's like a big massive window, and you're looking on straight onto the stage, and people get shocked, don't people? <laughs> yeah. Well, it was Maureen Bramwell who um, kind of laid all the bars originally down that street, and she's now in um, this Grand Central. Of the Grand Central Hall. So it's your other town, yeah. Nelly Foley yeah. is her uh, mum's name, okay. so she's took the Nelly Foley's back, and that's. Um, it's, it's integral to the building now. Yeah. Right? It's like a Grand, Grand Central, Central Village. There's like five bars. Five yeah, bars. Yeah, I've seen it. She's done great. Wonders, wonders. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And because, you know, obviously we can't be indoors at the minute, she just thinks outside the box, along with Haley and the team, they just go, right, okay, well, we'll use the gardens because Cause we can. public space. Yeah, can, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful theatre in there. The great, very blessed. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you've seen the main room, the dome, we call it. It's just the first in the Grand Central, yeah, you know, big more of than two thousand people. Can say it, yeah. It's yeah. It's amazing. And the beauty of that is even social distance, you can get a load of the people in. Yeah. And before Christmas, when we did our last gig, it was brilliant. Going back to the taxi drivers, though, Jeff, as you know, because we work together, yeah. there, plenty of times when Joe's doing a thing and she's hitching a skirt up into a knickers, throwing herself <laughs> down the stage, <laughs> they're all crashing into each other. They got scratched. No? <laughs> <laughs> a few friends on the taxi. Yeah, well, it's because you, you you can't get away with anything. Everything's on, you know. Your stage is on the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. amazing. It's what we when kids are walking past with the mams, you know what yeah. I mean? And they're pulling <laughs> the man back to have a look. What's going on? Um, is your talk about your mam? Does you have to say hello to Joan? Hello, Joan. Patsy, Charlie, how are you doing, kids? Yeah, I'm gonna say hello to my mom. Philip Yeager himself. I've got to say hello to Susie as well. Susie's the responsible for all the soul of Motown songs that I've that I've heard before joining him. She's the soul of Motown. Freak. Who's that? Your sister, big oh, sister. Big sister. Yeah. Should do this one. Should do this one. Should do this one. So hello, Susie. Great stuff. Oh, you shared this well, Susie, and <laughs> all the people. Any shout outs? Any else? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Me mum and dad, and uh, my daughter Courtney. Yeah, who's. She's become a big part of yeah. Central Hall as well. From what through lockdown, she did a load of lives. Yeah, go ahead. Tell us so, story. Uh, yeah, okay. So the first lockdown, um, it was the first weekend, and my missus said, "Why don't you get your gear out and do a little live?" I said, "Well, I've never done a live in my life, you know, you know, yeah. I've never been." So I said, "All right, we'll do it." So my daughter, she has 
the disabilities and that you know she, she's 18 now she was 17 then and uh she did it with me well that day people just warmed to courtney mm. and it become like the courtney and, and and Al fell the show every Saturday afternoon. Yeah. And tools, yeah. Pretty much. Wow. And we were getting more and more people watching. So she she did go to Claire House. Now she's 18, she, she doesn't meet the criteria. So um, she just said one day, can we raise some money for Claire House? Mm. And I said, okay, I'll do a little GoFundMe page or like I just give in. So we set the target at 200 quid. And uh, that, that very day, we raised about 500 necker. So I thought, well, that's great, okay, Courtney. So on the Wednesday, I was just a little bit buried on the couch watching the telly. I thought, why don't I get all my mates together in the business and put like a little day on of acts all through the day? So that's pretty much with, with the help of, of another guy, James Lachlan, who, who's a singer from Liverpool. He helped me with all the techie side. Well, I asked these guys, but I advertised for just 20 singers. Well, I got hit with about 100. Wow. Billy, Billy Strand, Ace Murphy, Steve Sh they all said, yeah, we're, we're offering. In, in the end, I had that many acts become a two day event. Of, uh, I think it was 20 acts. This is online, yeah. It's it's just, it's yeah. all online yeah. on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we started a group called Courtney's Big Claire House Bash. Uh, and in a week, we got 11,500 members. So, it became the biggest thing. And it was in May last year, and we did it from, 12 o'clock midday on the Saturday till nine at night on the Sunday, on, on the Saturday night and then the same Sunday with 20 acts every day. And in the meantime, it was just getting round Facebook land. Mel C, yeah. out the Spice Girls, sent a little message to Courtney, which wrote Johnny Vegas, yeah. most of the Liverpool players, old mm -hmm. players. It was just unbelievable. And there was like 1,200 people watching every, every time an act was on. These guys did a solo spot for us. And it's just yeah. caught his idea as well. A little it was all, yeah. Well, we raised 25 grand that weekend. Unbelievable. Just shows you what you can do, the yeah. powers of the web. It's oh, amazing. nice, I tell you. And also, I bet you, if you continue to think, you, you possibly could make a show, a live show, when all this lockdown's over with, maybe. Well, that's what we've talked a about. A Clearhouse reunion. Well, yeah. this year, a friend of ours, Bobby Dunn, who used to run the cellar bar, club cellar yeah. bar, he booked the uh, the Epstein okay. for us to do, yeah. but obviously the Epstein is no longer going. So I'm open to put something on the Grand Central Hall with a few acts, and we, we did do one before Christmas, didn't we? we did, Courtney did their own gig. Yeah, yeah. And we raised yeah. raised a thousand pound that yeah. day. But <coughs> she, she's she's kind of tired of it all now because she's struggling with her own mental health, with what's going on in this world, and. Uh, we just having a bit on with it at the minute, trying to get into school and everything. So um, we're just taking a back seat. But what, what once we get back in the central hall, she always does a guest appearance with Soul Jam. You know, it's a great story. And it's people a great love story. it because yeah. people have watched it during lockdown. Yeah, that yeah. really they, they love it. Mm. The positivity from live acts and performers. I done a couple of videos in the scene yeah. just to keep the morale up. You know, that's, that's right, yeah. from this from this obviously yeah. the circumstances that we're under, and it's. Uh, there's some people that we've lost, um, we had half from with obviously the side hooker that you've worked with. It's almost 12 months, would you believe that? That's man? crazy, yeah. On the 24th. And just going back to that, Jeff, I know it's a, it, it's a so missed uh, Tucker. I mean, we, we work with him often on the strip. We've seen him every day, didn't we? Um, the last gig he ever did, we did the bar scene and, and Tucker and Arthur were on before us. Full moon. And it was a great, great night. And uh, the last time we seen him, he stayed and watched half of our show, didn't he, with Anne? Um, and Les Brown was in that night. Yeah, and uh, sadly, that was the last time uh, seen seen him. Heartbreaking. And also, we didn't get we had a chance to send them off properly with all the restrictions. Yeah, exactly, mate. But we had the positive sort of uh, uh, interview uh, prior to this with Arthur. And yeah. You watch everything that we spent on talking sides of it. Um, and obviously with yourselves, inspiring to Liverpool and a lot of people follow you. Um, so stand by for part four where we'll get you singing. Oh my God. To be very <laughs> oh. 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 Thank you very much. Take care.